Oh shit! What you doing? Um, nothing, man. I'm just watching some videos right now. Don't tell me you're trying to find the tower nudes again. Nah, trust me, I wasn't. Wait, what's that on your screen? Um, nothing. Let me see that shit. Hey, wait, 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 stop! Dang, it's been a while since I've done a rating where I'm the YouTubers. But here we are again, talking more shit about other YouTubers and starting more drama. Also, William 12B is gonna be in this video, so it's gonna definitely stir something up. But a quick disclaimer before I start. So if you guys didn't notice, I just rate people on random stuff that comes up on the top of my head. So don't think it's gonna have a rubric and all that, like Reshit's PPE ratings. And it's obviously gonna be opinionated and all that. So, uh, let's just begin. So the first person I'm gonna be talking about is Kiloa Rot MG. If you guys didn't already know him, he makes PPEs or maxing character videos. And you know, his edits are pretty good. He's not trying to do too much and his style is smooth and calm. But if we take a look at some of his edits and compare them to Reshit, there's a big ass difference. But you guys might be thinking, comparing Reshit to Killua is just unfair. But I decided to compare them because Killua doesn't seem to like Reshit's style with them bright lights and all that. So uh, let's just take a look at both their edits. Okay, that one's pretty good. Now let's take a look at one of Reshit's. God damn! You can even slow-mo that shit and you can see everything put into that edit is far superior than Killua's. But you guys might also be like, Uh, uh, Reshit's videos is too bright, it's giving me seizures. But you guys don't understand how to watch a Reshit video. Step 1. Go to your brightness settings. Step 2. Turn that shit all the way down. Step 3. Enjoy Reshit's video. Oh shit, it's still too bright! Okay, so the point of that part was to explain how people's styles are different. And in my opinion, I enjoy whatever the fuck that is edits instead of smooth and simple edits like Killua's. It's not bad, it's just that I enjoy other edits better. Another thing about your content is that it lacks fucking variety. All of your videos are just montages of the game, and because of that, your channel lacks personality. When you lack variety in content, your videos become stale because uploading one subject is boring. I'm guessing that's the reason why your fanbase isn't as big as others, since you only appeal to one part of the RotMG community. Your edits do give somewhat of a personality, but it's not enough. Like, look at me. Look at William12B. We have- oh shit, that rhymed. Nah, but someone like me or William12B has personality, which makes people feel closer to us, which will either make someone like us a lot or hate us a lot. Trust me, having personality is a good thing. So I'm gonna give you an 8 out of 10 since you have a unique style, great song choices, and I can see effort is put into your videos. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Okay, so now I'm gonna let William speak. I do want to talk about the same person he's talking about though, so I'll also come back at the end of the video. So can we get a round of applause for William12B for joining us? Hey. Okay, so before I even start, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this down just so everyone is on the same page. And another one, and just one more for good luck. Okay, so Bullet Bikuri Box invited me to cause some more drama for him so he can get some more easy subs, and I stupidly said yes. So now I'm stuck here. That being said, even though I'm not gonna be as much of an asshole like it was in my previous video, I can only expect this to go bad. But oh well, what can you do? Now, starting off this shit show, I'm gonna read. <sighs> Rollo, Rona Mad God. Ugh. Bootleg Big Cherry Box did this on purpose because he knew I hated this guy, but you know what? Fuck it. Giving a bit of context here, I will say this. I don't like most PPE and MP videos. Whoa, big surprise, I know, but it's just not my thing. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and skip on most of the toxic stuff I could say about him. Why? Well, because I already said it a year ago in a reddit comment. The thing is, even after a year, I'm pretty sure almost everything I said still applies. So read it if you want to hear all the negative stuff I think about his channel. TLDR in the post though. Rolo is pretty much the McDonald's of Run Mad God content creators. You're gonna get the same basic shit over and over again and they're both morally bankrupt. If you like it, you're gonna enjoy it, but if you have a bit of standards, you probably won't. That being said, there is a certain amount of polish given to his videos. 
but that's to be expected when you're doing the same simple thing over and over and over again. With that being said, I'm giving Rolo 5 copyright strikes out of 10. Now next on our list is uh... Mm -hmm -hmm. Ah! Tom. Tired of chasing rats, he decided to become a professional realm YouTuber. What a bad decision. No, but really, Torn is an odd channel since most of his content is satire, and this makes it so most of his parody content is made worse on purpose to mock the original video. And you know what? It's good. I actually enjoy a good amount of his videos. The jokes work, the low quality ship post is used to help the video. It's really good. That being said, there is stuff I don't like about his content. The biggest issue I have is the ear rape. Oh god, the ear rape. I thought Valak's ear rape train was bad, and honestly, I had no fucking idea what I was talking about. The problem I see in his videos is that they're just not attractive to binge, since you pretty much have to constantly switch your volume between 101, that if you don't want your ear to bleed, especially because a large majority of his videos are just... Hey! Want some ear rape? I'm not saying it's a joke that's not funny, but it's one that does get boring after a while. Other than that, his other content is mostly okay, except for his PPE videos which are just... boring. Since I don't really care about drops, I only rate based on how the video is edited, what extra content or twist you can give it, and how much I actually enjoy the thing. And that's the problem, there's just no creative twist or certain style of editing added to it. It's just your run-of-the-mill PPE video that I would say is even worse than Rolo's PPE videos. With all of that said, I think I would rate this channel a 7.5 or maybe even an 8. It could be better if most of the jokes weren't just, you know, recycled most of the time. But hey, that's just my opinion. My subjective opinion. Now if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to making more hentai videos. Fate Picure Box, I pass the mic back to you. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this off real quick since I don't want this video to hit 10 minutes. So, uh, about Rolo. I find his videos quite enjoyable and he's no doubt a pioneer for edits and PPEs. But what bothers me about his content is that there's no improvement or anything new to it. As you can see from his first PPE to the last, they're literally the same three effects every single time. Like come on man, don't you want to switch things up in your edits and try to improve? This is why many Realm YouTubers are now better editors than him. He's what do you call it? Oh yeah, overrated as fuck. He would be in a good position right now if people didn't make him all high and mighty, but yeah, the standards were really low at that time. And if you are one of these people that made him overrated, you'll understand how simplistic Rolo's edits are once you actually start editing. Here's a quick story of Rolo. So Rolo was overrated, making him popular, meaning he had the most influence for PPE editing. Now because of his simplistic edits, many people were able to copy it and edit it into their own PPEs. Because of that, his style is shown through many other channels, including mine, making it the generic PPE edit. So I would give him a 9 out of 10 during the 2016 standards, but right now I would give him a 6 out of 10. Alright guys, be sure to- oh wait wait wait, I forgot Tharm's one and me. Shit. Um, here you go. Hold up and cut it like Genesis. I run the game, but I played it on Genesis. Hop on my genitals, hop out the window. It used to be timid, but now I'm not tentative. I'm the definitive.